folks. Here we go again. Uh, we're we're in October. We're in about what I would call mid to late salmon season. Actually, we're more probably late salmon season the way the fish are behaving and kind of in a transition period. We are down in the Douglas and Salmon Run. We're going to give it a run down here for a while see what we can find. I suspect that um, there, there's going to be a few salmon around. Not a lot. There's a lot of spawners around, which is one of the reasons why we're down here. Not for what you would think. So we're going to cover a bunch of water. Um, what we're actually hoping for is maybe the front end of the steelhead. We'll have to see. There is some still some high quality salmon coming through so hopefully over the next couple of days we'll get a nice mixed bag of salmon and steelhead and maybe a brown trout who knows that'd be a holy grail but anyways we're going to cover some water over the next couple of days um, we're going to use a bunch of different techniques from uh, drifting to swinging we'll probably be playing around with a bunch of different types of flies from mini intruders to obviously egg like and leeches been working really good for us barter type stuff to egg patterns just to see what we can find. And like I said, we're kind of looking for a mixed bag over the next couple of days. Ricky's getting a start at it. So follow along, let's see what we can do. Oh yes, leech. What's that? Leech. No, just a, just from the, the rainbow bugger. Oh. Oh. Back on you, I'm ripping that.
We got him. <laughs> He's still fighting. Oh. That's asking a lot from this tough guy, Kevin. I'm not sure who got beat. Oh, I can do more stuff. So. <laughs> Lucky. Right? Oh. Oh, yeah, good pain. Good pain. Okay. Well, we got lots of footage. that damn rainbow bugger. That's a good. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, really? Alright buddy. See you later. Thanks for the dance. Go in the right direction. There you go. There we go. Day two. At least now the microphone's on. And I just noticed something. Rick and I got the same color scheme going. Yeah, just about. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Trust me, we do not coordinate this like teenage girls. <laughs> no, we this, this is total random chance. But anyways, day two. Um, we'll see what it is. A little bit more cloudy today. Not such a bluebird day. We do have some weather moving in. Um, tonight so we're gonna see what it is we're gonna cover some water we're back down on the lower end of the DSR so now yeah, looks like you got a breeze coming out of the east yeah we're gonna get weather so let's see what we can find oh we got the George Meister today <laughs> let's see if he can catch us a fish oh, man. What was that? They're not classy. They're not classy? No. They didn't like that cool fly? No, they didn't. What do we got to do? Break out the woolly buggers? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Bring out the bugger. Get the <laughs> All the cool shit we have, and guess what? They don't they want to don't eat it. So we're just going back to the bugger. The buggers. Wind ain't helping, it's gonna add to the leaves. That's, uh, well, it's helping the wind problem. Yeah, it's giving us more. Yeah. Making the leaf hatch even more intense. Lucky. Oh, lucky. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, well. We just have one on. Not bad, not 
Yeah. What did you feed him? Oh, something big and colorful. <laughs> A lot of rubber legs. <laughs> a lot of rubber legs and colorful. Well, he has eyes too. <laughs> so they can see it coming. Here, hold it still. That's a 2.0? Two, two yeah, yeah. Is that the eye so you can see what he's doing? Yeah, exactly. So you can back into it. You know, Here, hold it still. Yeah. Kind of fun on those click drag reels, ain't it? Yes, yeah. How's your knuckles? Didn't hit him. Didn't hit him? I learned a long time ago, keep hands out of the way, they don't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. You always say let's do it again. Exactly. Alright, a little quick fishing update. Um, we definitely moved into some, some different water. And we got a really good bite starting right now. Me and trail mix. As for the fish, yeah, they're being crabby. Very crabby. So we're just going to just keep covering some water and trying some stuff. And I'll bump it over here so you can see Ricky. Maybe he'll get a bite. I don't know. I'm sitting here eating trail mix. Someone's got to bite something around here, so it might as well be me and a snack. He's running from me. Oh no! He, George does make a good pack meal. <laughs> we got him loaded up. Well, yeah, legs are good now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll right, see when across the month, right? <laughs> well, we cross the river. Right. Well, you can probably tell I got my pack on. I think we've had enough. The fish have been mocking us all day, giving us a complex, thinking that we suck. But anyways, it, they were crabby, as you could tell. We didn't do nowhere near as well as. We did yesterday, we had George with us to help, but it's fishing. Like I said, we're kind of in between runs, and we'll see what the next couple of days bring. Besides, it looks like you can tell maybe in the background, it looks a little gray. We got some weather coming in, so like I always say, conditions can and do change quickly, and we'll see what the next couple of days bring, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, folks. As always, we try to keep some up study flow of um, fishing videos and reports so hit that little subscribe button that bell icon um, we can sure use the subscribers and we'll keep um, keep the stuff coming until then see you on the river we have a rickster in his natural environment be careful we don't want to spook him or chase him off but we have a rare rickster Rickmeister, doing what Rickmeisters do in their natural environment. Maybe we can sneak up on them and get a hold of them, but I don't dare because they just might run out into the river. We want to do go fishing today. Mm-hmm.